Hello friends and welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Callie Bransfort and today's video I'm going to be sharing with you some very simple little like decor hacks and ideas and DIYs that you can do for the fall using all products from the Dollar Tree so that you can sort of get your house ready for fall without breaking the bank. Before we jump into this video, I'm very excited to let you know that today's video is actually a collab with my friend Sarah Jane, who runs the YouTube channel Chic on the Cheap. She shares so many affordable finds, amazing DIYs, and super smart Dollar Tree hacks. I know you guys are gonna love her channel. And in her video, she's gonna be sharing some of her Dollar Tree fall favorites and decor ideas as well. So after you watch this video, make sure you head over to her channel, check out her video, and make sure you let her know that I sent you. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in to these DIYs and little decor hacks. For the first thing, we are going to make a farmhouse fall sign for only $4. From the Dollar Tree, you're gonna need one of the wooden signs they have for fall, and then using some of the Dollar Tree chalkboard paint, I'm painting this black. Then I'm using a poster board from the school section. I'm going to measure out the backdrop for the sign, as well as cut four strips that are going to become my frame. And then we're going to start by cutting this poster board. Now, an X-Acto blade, is the ideal tool to use to um, cut this, but I'm actually filming this video right now in my house that has not had power for almost five days uh, because we were hit by a hurricane and a bunch of trees came down. Long story, I don't have any power and I took my little flashlight down to the basement to get my X-Acto blade, I couldn't find it. So I had to kind of improvise for this video a little bit. I'm using a kitchen knife. It works, it's not ideal. If you have an X-Acto blade, it's a lot better, but just make sure that when you are cutting, you put something down to protect your cutting surface, such as a layer of cardboard or a towel. I also highly suggest that you use a metal ruler to do this because it's gonna make sure that you get a much straighter cut. Now, it doesn't matter if you cut this totally perfect because all of the edges are going to end up being covered. Once I have my backdrop and framed pieces cut, I'm going to use the wood grained contact paper from the Dollar Tree. You get this sort of near the kitchen section to cover each frame piece and create a faux wooden frame. And then I'm just going to arrange my frame together with my wooden gather sign in the middle and then I'm gonna hot glue this all together. Again, because I don't have any power, I had to hot glue this off of camera because I just have one little outlet downstairs that is plugged into my generator. So I had to improvise, but I hot glued it all together and I love the way that this came out. I actually hung it right above my dining room and it's perfect for fall, but honestly, you could use this year round if you wanted. Literally, no one would guess that you DIY'd this for only $4 and it's definitely one of my favorite DIYs that I have done recently. Another seasonal hack that I love from the Dollar Tree is to take advantage of the seasonal floral stuff that they have. So I'm just gonna swap out some faux foliage that I have around the house. This little hello sign is actually a Dollar Tree DIY that I recently shared and I'll link that video down below, but I'm just gonna swap out the summery succulents for some fall mums and sort of shift this decor right into fall, super easy and super affordable. While I'm sharing a couple decor DIYs, I wanted to share this cute burlap banner. I actually shared this just recently in my fall haul for 2020 from the Dollar Tree, but I wanted to pop it in here as well since it's a really easy and affordable DIY you can use from the Dollar Tree. I'm just painting some of the wooden leaf ornaments with black chalkboard paint, again, from the Dollar Tree, and then using the burlap leaves that you can get from the seasonal section, and I'm hot gluing the painted ornaments onto the burlap leaves. Then I'm curling the wire stem of the burlap leaves into little loops. Then I'm gonna use the Dollar Tree chalk pen, which is my favorite chalk pen style at the moment to write a false saying on the ornaments. I love this chalk pen because I feel like it really gives the look of chalk, but what's really nice about it is unlike a lot of other chalk pens, it's actually really easy to wipe away with a damp rag. Um, so it's just really easy to work with. Then I'm just gonna string it onto the jute string from the Dollar Tree, and this is a super affordable fall banner. I think it would look really cute on a mantle if you had a mantle in your house. I do not have a mantle in my house, but if you did, it would look super cute there, but you can also just hang it on the wall, above like a desk, above your bed, on a bookshelf. It's really cute a lot of places. My next DIY decor pack sort of thing is to use the Dollar Tree frames to actually create a little tray to use like on a coffee table. So I'm gonna paint the frame itself gray with chalkboard paint and then let this dry and set for at least 24 hours. Then I'm coming in with this gray buffalo check baby blanket. You can find these little fleece blankets in the baby section and I'm cutting it to the size of the frame. You don't need to be too precise here. You can always trim off the extra later. And then I'm placing this metal harvest wording from the Dollar Tree. You can get this in the seasonal section. They come in three packs. 
placing this in the center and then closing up the frame. And then lastly for handles, I'm just using some of the nautical rope. You can find this in the floral section at the Dollar Tree to create little handles. And I'm just gonna attach this with hot glue. And then that's it. I think this is super cute, like I said, on a coffee table, but it would also work really well as a centerpiece for your dining room table as well. Now, speaking of tablescapes, you see how I did that? I'm all about seamless transitions here in my videos. But no, seriously, speaking of tablescapes, the Dollar Tree is one of the best places to get super affordable decor for your tablescapes. I'm gonna share with you a few of my favorites. Firstly, they sell fabric placemats, which are literally the cheapest price I have ever seen for fabric placemats. These are great steel. You get them in a neutral color and you can use them season after season. And then one of my hands down, holy grail, gotta have it products from the Dollar Tree is their plate chargers. The ones that I have here are like 10 years old, but they have them in gold and silver and marble and wood grain, so many different choices. And it is such a quick and simple way to make your table setting look more put together with just a really easy thing. You buy it once. And like I said, I've been using mine for like a decade. Now a little trick with the Dollar Tree plate chargers is sometimes you can't always find a full set in stock in Dollar Tree like in the stores. So check dollartree.com. Now, if you've ever shopped dollartree.com, you have to uh, buy items in bulk. You can't buy like one of anything, but the plate chargers are one of the items you can buy in a smaller bulk. You can buy usually like a set of eight. And if you're getting plate chargers, you probably want about eight of them anyways. And they have all of their varieties on dollartree.com. And they make it really easy. You can actually just ship your purchase right to your local Dollar Tree for free and pick it up there. Then I'm just gonna use some Dollar Tree candle votives as a centerpiece. Personally, I'm all about small, understated centerpieces. I think that it lets the food be the centerpiece. I think what sometimes centerpieces can get too big and then they feel really bulky or they're too tall and you like can't see the person across from you. So I'm all about keep the centerpiece low, keep it really minimal, and then let your food be the centerpiece of your table. Now a little fall themed candle hack, if your Dollar Tree doesn't have any good seasonal votives like the ones I have here, is just to grab any old votive you can find and wrap it in the Dollar Tree jute rope. You're gonna wrap the whole thing up so I just glued the entire row at the bottom and then I wrapped and wrapped sort of hot gluing every five to 10 rows just to make sure everything was getting held into place and then gluing the top row, of course. And it's just a really easy, quick hack to update the candle votives. Use them on a tablescape. They also look really cute on the DIY tray. Another DIY tablescape idea is to make DIY napkin rings. I'm just taking the shower curtain rings with a little bit of hot glue. I'm wrapping these in jute rope. Again, just hot gluing here and there to hold everything into place. And this is just a super quick, easy, affordable upgrade to make your table setting look a little bit nicer and more elegant. What I love about this is once you DIY this napkin ring once, you can use it over and over again. Two other Dollar Tree products I love for tablescapes. One is their little mini chalkboard signs. I think putting down little name cards or place cards, even if you're having like a small dinner party of only four people, is just a really cute, easy way to sort of upgrade your table settings. It makes dinner feel a little more special. And I'm all about making dinner feel special. I like doing something a little extra to my table to make it feel special, even if it's not a special occasion. When you're done with these, you can just clip them onto the napkin ring, or if you don't do the napkin ring DIY, you could just like place them in the center of some Dollar Tree floral. You could literally even just put them on the center of the plate as is. They're really cute how they are. Another thing I also love to use as place cards is the little mini frames they have. It's such a cute little thing to make the tablescape just feel a little bit more dressed up. I love these mini frames or the chalkboard ones because they're reusable. You can use them dinner after dinner after dinner. I'm going to leave you with one final DIY. I found these little wooden pallets in the craft section and thought they made the perfect coasters. So I'm just going to paint them with Dollar Tree chalkboard paint. But if you have spray chalkboard paint, that would be ideal because it's kind of hard to get into the corners. And then I'm gonna use a chalkboard paint pen this time. Like I said, I love the Dollar Tree ones for their look, but they are washable with a damp rag. And since my coasters are going to be getting wet cups on them, I don't want it to be washable. So I'm gonna opt for a painter's pen to do this one. And I'm just gonna write little fall notes or fall sayings on them. And it's just a cute little seasonal coaster to have out for fall. All right, I feel a little winded. I feel like maybe I was talking a little fast. To be honest, like I said, doing this during a power outage, I'm working against a battery light that's starting to flash at me. So I would love to not have to do any more videos during power outages. So 
fingers crossed for me guys that it comes back at some point but i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed some of these diys i had a lot of fun making them for you even if i had to do them without power <laughs> with my generator don't forget to check out sarah jane's channel chic on the cheap again i will link her down below she's sharing a bunch more fall finds, fall decor, and DIY ideas. You're gonna love her stuff, you're gonna love her channel, so definitely make sure you check her out as well. I'm like losing light. This is, this is what it's like filming with no power. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I will see you all in my next video.